is the full thing now with the background. Oh my god, that looks amazing. What up, Rap Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know that your camera flipped from under the sea. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rap Pack, because your boy is here. And are you ready? Or what? I don't know. SpongeBob just says it, so he's, he's, I don't know what he's usually ready for. He has work. But yeah, I'm working right now, so yeah, I say I'm ready. I'm ready! <laughs> Alright, so as you see right here, we got an aquarium, okay? What I'm gonna be doing today is you know, as you guys know, I am a huge SpongeBob collector. On this channel, we collect absolutely everything. So, with that SpongeBob collection, I have always wanted, since I was a young, young lad, a replica of oh, let's put on screen of Conch Street, which is actually the street SpongeBob Squidward and Patrick live at. And I thought today we could do that. So you look online, I've found these, you've seen these before inside of aquariums. We got Spongebob's house. Looking oh, yeah. pretty good, oh, right? Yeah. Go ahead and put that in there. But, they also make a large Squidward one. Oh, that's <laughs> yes. so cool. But, after doing some research, they only made Squidward's house, Spongebob's house, and then also a Krusty Krab. It's like really small. It's like, it's like literally the Krusty Krab is like like this big. Really? It makes no proportionate sense. <laughs> Maybe they made those into hotels. <laughs> exactly. They're weird. So, but you'll notice there's a, 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 a conch street. It would be arranged kind of like this. There's one house house missing. The Wombo Master. The Patster. Yes, the Pat Bat. Right there. <laughs> the Patrick House is missing. They do not sell anywhere a Patrick House. Why? Because it's a rock. It's kind of like a rock. It's just kind of a rock. Yeah. But, <laughs> but who has ever seen a rock shaped like this? I haven't. That's the only rock that they really have. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make Patrick's House out of this quick read. Then we're quick creep. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel. Cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. Alright, quick quick. Quick concrete. Right here. <laughs> gonna be making this into Patrick's house. And I don't know how we're gonna figure out the color. How that little thing on top of the antenna, the freaking TV antenna is gonna work. Yeah, that's a good but it will be figured out with this quick creep. And we're gonna go and do, we're gonna go to PetSmart right now to get all the sand and everything else that we need to make this thing as close as possible. And then I'm gonna be getting my own fish that's gonna be going inside of here. And that's gonna be the official SpongeBob. SpongeBob, which is not, not a sponge. I guess I could put a sponge in there. That probably if you want me to be as big as that house, so. Yeah, it probably absorb a lot of the water, too. <laughs> this fish is going to live in a replica of SpongeBob Street. And I'm going to have a little slice of my own bikini bottom. You should get a fish that looks like Fred. <sighs> you know, I would, but I've heard a lot of those ones have a lot of amputee problems. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're in here. We have the freaking pat. We have the giant one, and we also have the little mini version of Pet SpongeBob house right here. All right. So we're for sure gonna get one of the SpongeBob, and we have all of this stuff down here, guys. We got white rocks. We got black for the street. We got stones for the walkway. We're still looking for quite a few things in here, but once we get out, I'll update you guys on everything that we got, and then we'll be able to go from there. It's pretty packed in here right now. Damn, dude. I'm starting to think that the fish is gonna be the cheapest part. Oh, like twenty cents. Twenty cents. Your life is worth twenty cents to them. Damn. All right. So what kind of fish? Do you think you'd be the, the, the one in the sponge tank? Dude, right here, this is a perfect fish. That, those aren't fishes. It's a fish with defense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I, like I said, I found out that the most expensive part about being a fish owner is, is the stuff that the fish is around. So, this stuff, this bag of rocks was $7. I get it for free right there. And some dirt. We got some black rock. We got some Caucasian rocks. We got some dead plants. This is everything right here. We are going to go into Michael's as well right now. I got a couple last minute things and we're going to head back and see if we can get this thing set up. But well, wasn't the whole point of this to be an aquarium? You didn't even, we didn't get a fish. We didn't decide on one. You wanted a turtle. I went in there and I decided that I'm getting a fish, but I need to make my whole, you know, fish tank first and be able to know if I'm an actually a decent pet owner. That's, that's very commendable actually. If the tank comes out all right, then I'll get a fish, but I'm not going to buy a fish and commit to something when I don't even know if I can support it. Maybe more wow. people think about that. I, huh? Maybe with humans too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's boring. Let's think about that later. Let's go get a fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, you caught me. Just in the mix of me stirring some quick, quick creep. <laughs> So you can see this bowl has been used for quick creep before and that is for me testing how to make Patrick's house So right here we have everything we need right here We got Spongebob's house. We got Squidward's house and inside of here We got some characters we're gonna be able to put inside of there as well We'll decide who deserves to be on this street in Bikini Bottom in a little bit, but right here you also have some sea oh. 
Oh. Seaweed. Sea oh. <laughs> Uh, sea marijuana. Show. I think that's the uh, the scientific term. Oh, so <laughs> we got the seaweed right there. Then we also have some stones that we're gonna be using for all the walkways for the characters. And then right here we have some white rocks. These are gonna be what's gonna cover that sandy floor of Bikini Bottom. And then right here we have some black rocks. You know what that is? Uh, heroin. Black rock. That would be that would be blue rocks. <laughs> Oh, that's meth. Yeah, this is meth. <laughs> <laughs> right here, we have black rocks. This is gonna be the pathway in order to go to Patrick's house because everybody else, if you look at the picture, they have nice walkways. SpongeBob has this beautiful stoned walkway. Squidward's got the wood panels. Patrick, they just extended the asphalt to his door, <laughs> and that is it. So, we're gonna get started with it right now. First thing we're gonna have to do, though, is we're gonna have to SpongeBobify this entire fish tank. You know what that means? Very absorbent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Parker, <laughs> Parker's gonna do this, Parker. Oh. Parker is going to put painter's tape around the entire outside of this and then we are going to paint this part right here all yellow so that way the entire outside piece is yellow and then he's going to paint this part right here green so that way we have this spongebob green yellow hole with a yellow body for our casing pour this in this is what we call quicksand all right okay now we got the quick quick in there we're gonna get the quick quick lid get the burst that seal <laughs> this is milk yeah and it's sitting out to get in your fingers look at my finger <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it burns. All right, so we got that in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it like oatmeal and we're gonna mix it, okay? Oh, really? Yeah, absorb that's, some that's of that moisture. Oh, that, yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> it's too wet. Why is it so wet? All right, so this is almost done. How do you even know that? Like, I think it's almost done. It looks nowhere near done. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is the thing about Patrick's house, guys. Patrick's house is a sphere. If I let it sit inside there, it's going to harden and I will not be able to get it out. So I am- <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I get it, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be hardened and I won't be able to pull it out unless it's flaccid, okay? So how I'm gonna do this though, is I am gonna wait until it is very malleable but not 100% hardened yet when it's a chubby. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start and conform it into Patrick's house. It gives it more of a lumpy rock type texture anyway. So just keep mixing this up, just assuming what I'm supposed to do and then we'll wait for that to get malleable. All right, so Parker got everything taped down here really, really nice. We got some clean lines you. here. You're welcome. <laughs> so now I'm gonna grab this primer. We're gonna blast all of these black parts right here. And then once it's all white, we're gonna go, I also let's prime this. this. I primed this as well. So now that this is primed and this is primed as well, we're gonna wait for this to dry. That's gonna be green. This is gonna be yellow. And then we're gonna start building the inside. Prime. Prime. Optimus. Groudon. Prime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So now you guys can see it is all yellow, okay? Paint at the top, paint at the bottom. Did a nice paint job to the table there. Well, the table, you see it's blue right here, it's red down, the orange is down, this table's in more colors than Michael Jackson, Parker. Oh. It's, it's fine, okay? Yellow is just a, is a, is a just the today's color. All right, so today it's yellow. We got that painted, come on over here. I went with green on this, but then it kind of looked like a really bad Spongebob pinata where it's just like colors, are, okay, you got green and yellow, but this makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> so I splashed a little bit of yellow on and do the green so that way hopefully it fades with it pretty well and it kind of has like a tie-dye effect to it all right so now you guys can see the whole aquarium is spray painted we're gonna take this paint off right now and hopefully there's a clean divide line so we have a completely yellow tank we also finished patrick's house so right here's spongebob here's squidward and right here's where patrick's will go here we go put on the crusty crab training music here we go Duh. Alright. That looks good. That looks pretty good. Like, I definitely am not gonna say it's perfect, but if you consider that this is also not perfect, it's pretty good. Yeah, and if you consider that this was made from scratch. Yeah, and I am not perfect. Well, then, it's pretty good. I'm defending it pretty much. Alright, guys, so now I've taken off all the center tape. I'm gonna take off the tape on the top now and see how the lines are. And hopefully, if you guys have seen the hydro dipping, it's sometimes Sometimes comes out all right, but we're gonna try and hope that it's gonna come out real clean this time. I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece right there. Hey, pretty clean, pretty clean. Pretty. <laughs> all right, we're taking it on this side. Oh, we're on the clean street. Easy street, easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the top line's looking pretty clean. Let's get this top tape off as well. And the top is not so clear, but it's okay because the fish aren't gonna see this. All right. <laughs> All right, so now you'll see the tank is 100% yellow. It also so is the glass a little bit, but. That's what happens with spray paint. That's also why we have razor blades. So we get that off, and also we got the lid. Let's check that out. All right, guys, so the whole thing is yellow now, and that looks freaking sick, but I'm gonna spray this yellow too, because if I put it on, it's just. 
<laughs> that looks stupid. That looks like I filled this with Seven Up. I, I know, <laughs> right? Like freaking lemon lime. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color this yellow, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start all the inside pieces. Now that we got a fish tank, it looks a little bit more SpongeBob official. All right, guys. So now we have the aquarium inside, and everything is ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these white rocks right here, and we're gonna set the baseline, which is the sand of Bikini Bottom. Probably anymore. The jar was just for, for display purposes, okay? I have more rocks over there. <laughs> that is definitely not gonna be enough. Why the rest of the rocks in the Walmart bag? Because they didn't fit in the jar. <laughs> I only had two jars. The rocks are in there. Let's move this Walmart bag out the way. Respect like that thing? It was 10 cents. It was. I'm gonna reuse that. All right, so now I'm gonna level the rocks down with my bare hand. What I'm going to do is I think we're through the houses in, right? Then from there we can kind of... I, th I say put the grass in. Grass, greenery. How will they be able to breathe without greenery? Water. Need oxygen. All right, let's do it. So how we're gonna do this, I'm gonna grab these little things and we're gonna dunk them into the rocks right here just to give them a little bit of a green vibe. I mean, obviously I know Bikini Bottom doesn't really have any seaweed like this, but I just want my fish to be able to have a little bit of, I don't know, what looks like the wild. Okay, so now, now can I put the houses? Why are you asking me that? Like, prefer because every time I get ready to say, okay, now I think we should put the houses. You say, oh no, what about that? What about that? Oh, okay. And you maybe well, seem I mean, irresponsible, like all I wanna do is put the houses in. I mean, if you wanna put the houses in, sure. But do you think you, we should set the roads in? Like the road to set, cause like, yeah, to set either one of That's what I'm saying. I can't know where the roads are going to lead if I don't have a house and a door to go to. Then go ahead. Yes. Okay, so we got Squidward's house right here. Putting it in right there. We're going to give him a nice size walkway. Drill that in. All right. How's that looking on that side? It's like his house sunk. Because that's what it did, technically. All right. Now we got SpongeBob's house right here, which is a little bit of, you know, gorilla glue on it because Parker dropped it and this thing popped off. I did not drop it. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I could show you where you dropped it. There's glue right there where I had to fix this I because Parker not, kicked I it over. Park kicked it over. We'll, we'll get your story straight that I drop it and kick it over. You don't even remember. You, I didn't you do dropped it. it, then you kicked it over. Oh, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so my SpongeBob's house coming in right here. There we go. Spacing seem all right. Uh, yeah, not bad. Okay, sweet. And there's you know, a good spacing on this side. So we're gonna try and match this spacing on the other side when we put in Pat Back's house. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. This is the one I was worried about the most looking good. How's it look? Good. Sweet. Okay, so we are getting it together here. Man, that is so cool. Classic right there, dude. Now, we must do the roads. All right, so how we're gonna do the road to SpongeBob's house, on screen we have a picture. Kinda has like these stones that are going all the way to his house. So I have these stones right here. We're gonna be putting as the walkway. Then we're gonna move on to Squidward's. All right, so I'm gonna move one like there, right? And I'd love to get the little gravel he has in between the walkways, but obviously this is, you know, aquarium. I can't really do that without all floating up. So, there we go. How's it looking there? Not bad, not too bad. So we got the rockway done. Now for Squidward's. What is Squidward's walkway? Have. He's like those like wooden kind of like wood. It's a good thing we wooden got these wood. Hershey's individually packed chocolates. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. They're actually tiles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and add these in, and these ones I got them because this is like literally you think, oh, you can get wood planks anywhere, but you know what the problem is with wood, Parker? It floats. We tried it the first time, and it was I tried popsicle sticks, and it was just loading. It was just a bunch of popsicle sticks. It was not fun. <laughs> so we have to use these, which are tiles, and we're gonna go ahead and put those in there like this. We're gonna go ahead and connect them. So that way it kind of gives us a little bit of a steeper walkway or a little bit of a wider walkway. All right, with the second walkway right there. Now for the third piece of the walkway. Okay, so let's finish that connection right there. It's like black people meet. We're making all the connections. Okay, <laughs> all right, how's that look? Dude, that's, that's starting to look pretty good. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying this, and I'm glad that it's actually coming out kind of decent. All right, but now's the hard one. Patrick's walkway. All right, so now you see what I've got in here? Fish, fish poop. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to grab these, like I said, and try make a walkway. I don't know how good or bad this will come out, but I'm going to try my best. Right now, it just looks like a rat nesting by Patrick's house. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to fill this walkway in nice and smooth. This is coming along, dude. Yeah, it is. It is really good in there. All right, and right there we got the black walkway. And dude, that is coming along great. That is amazing. That is like the best version of this I've ever seen on YouTube. Like there is, I looked hours to try and find out how to make Patrick's house. There was no one. There's one right there. So now 
I say, what is it missing? I don't know what's missing. I mean, the water and the fish. And also the characters. And thematic. It's not thematic. We need a background. All right, guys. So we added the background. And dude, you have to say that one little touch just completely transformed Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> so here is the full thing now with the background. Oh my God. That looks amazing. So that right there, guys, you are looking at the world closest replica of Cod Street. There is no one on the internet that is this accurate. I'm not saying it's the most accurate but i am saying there's no one as accurate as this one kind of the same thing i'm not saying this one's perfect but i am saying that this is the most accurate version that there is on the internet now now we know we need fish and water still not fish still not fish we need to add characters parker characters all right i got it for the character now oh, what's the whole bag wet it rained outside but but it's all good there's, there's, there's the sea fine. animals parker the sea animals i'm sure they're fine okay so let's see who do you think deserves to be added to the replica obviously pat bat right obviously the homeowners <laughs> yeah, we got first here we got pat back right here and that is pretty cool i mean obviously these are these aquarium ones guys so they're not 100 percent perfect so they're not gonna look like you know bandai professional made statues so kid robot yeah, yeah kid robot it's gonna look at a certain level but that's pretty good i'd say let's go ahead and add him all right so we got patrick right there about to start bothering squidward and stuff all right so we got patrick right there obviously now we'll add squid where's squid oh my god they have plankton as well <laughs> Man, you know they didn't give a damn when they made Squidward and Plankton. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Almost the same size. He he probably couldn't pass college. <laughs> All right, we got Squiddy right there protecting his house. And now, of course, we got to add SpongeBob. All right, and there we got SpongeBob. Everything is together now. The characters are there. But I'm going to say we can add one secondary character. Gary. Gary. What about Mr. Krabs? That's Black Mr. Krabs. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> Gross sisters of Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Gary. He looks a lot better. And Parker had the idea to put him inside the house. I think it's an amazing one. So we're gonna put him right in there. <laughs> Dude, that is perfect. It even got more accurate. There's a Gary inside of his actual house. All right. So I think maybe now it could be time for the fish. We need the water first. That's probably a better idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do the water and then the fish. They need that. All right. It's almost full. Well, not almost. Like third of the way there. Shirley, there's a better way to do this. Perhaps Don't call me be. Shirley. And Shirley, you're probably right. <laughs> there's definitely a lot of ways it's going to be done better. But we didn't want to have to move the entire aquarium from outside inside. So we're just filling it up from inside. So you guys can see right here, the water is filling up. Alright guys, so here we go, right here, we have it, we have Conscious Drive right there, we have Conch Street right here, it is absolutely amazing. Now, now we need the fish, I will get them. Alright guys, we already got some of this in there as well, but now you see those guys over there? You see them? Yeah, right. right there. Okay, so here, these are the crew, okay? We got all these fish right here, the water is a little foggy and that's because that's the water that the Petco gave me, but we're gonna go ahead and put them inside of a brand new clean fish tank right Right there we have a five gold fish why did i get five i don't know why i got five i think i, I think i think i bought two and about five in case two of them died but thankfully they're all alive so we have five right here and what should we name them i'm thinking one should be patrick one should be squidward one should be spongebob right one should be gary one should be gary and, and then the last one conch. fred fred <laughs> SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Gary, and that black fish back there, that's Fred. All right, so let's add them in there. You know what, man? They went from Petco, where they were living in a, in a in a container with like, literally, would you say like, there was a fish every square inch? Every square centimeter. Every square centimeter. That means they're, they're literally, yeah, I didn't even see any water. I didn't even see any water. It was just fish compressed yeah. against <laughs> yeah, each other. <laughs> so now they're going to be moving from this jar. They've only had a hard life. And now they're going to this beautiful SpongeBob Oasis. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There's one! There's the other guys! There they are! Along with a bunch of poo. Along with a bunch of poo. That is perfect. That's just flaking down to <laughs> on a Patrick's head. <laughs> So they are in there, dude. Man, they are checking the place out, dude. They're like, man, this is the nicest place that I've ever been. Dude, Squidward was like, actually pretty happy to have the new friends. It's, dude, they're literally checking it out. They went to Squidward's house. Now they're visiting with Patrick. They head over to SpongeBob's house. Come on, you guys know you want to go check out SpongeBob's house. Okay, guys, so whoever goes inside of whose house, that, that fish has to be that character. All right, guys, so there we go. We got Con Street right there. I don't know what other fish I want to get. There could be 
some other fish in here besides goldfish? You guys let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed the SpongeBob Cod Street replica right here, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you're new here. Let's give him one last look at this freaking aquarium. Absolutely amazing. This is like as a SpongeBob collector, this right here is gold. And I'm so glad to have finished this thing. The background looks amazing. Houses look amazing. The, the fish, they look very handsome, I might say. But thank you guys so much for watching, as I said. But make sure you subscribe if you're new here and check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last epic SpongeBob escapade where I went on a search to get the legendary SpongeBob sketch car. Go check it out in this video, though, to go see that car get pulled. And I'll see you people over there. As always, Rat Pack, I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Bloop.